Yes. Just having a nice drink, you know, catching up on the fights on the weekend, you know, Eddie Owens fight camp. I enjoyed it, you know. I enjoy seeing that Shannon Courtney get beat. You know, she's too fucking arrogant, isn't she? She's fucking arrogant. You know, because Eddie Earn's giving her the fancy build-up. You know, giving her the fancy treatment. You know, really hyping her up. Acting like she's a fucking quote. So, she's fucking arrogant, isn't she? So, I'm glad she lost. Do you know what I mean? She's too fucking cocky, man. You know, because Coogan's perving over her all the time. You know, asking her what groin guard she wears and stuff like that, liking all her fucking photos. So it's made her really arrogant. So you know, to see her get beat by that fucking ginger woman, it was so good, you know, I really enjoyed it. You know, pouting and all that Coogan bullshit. Yeah, she's too fucking cocky, man. And you know that ginger woman, she said in an interview afterwards, she can't really see why people dislike that Shannon Courtney. And she said that the reason they probably don't like her is because it's a woman, you know, acting arrogant. And I thought about it and I thought, is that the reason why I don't really like her? You know, because she's a woman acting arrogant. Because you know when men act arrogant like Mayweather and fucking McGregor, you know, and they act all cocky. I really like it. I really enjoy it. And I like both of those two, Mayweather and McGregor. But you know, the minute a woman does it, it's a bit like, I don't really like it. You know, like that fucking Ronda Rousey. She was all cocky, wasn't she, and arrogant, you know, and all stuck up. But then when she got fucked up, I was really happy to see her get beat up. But you know, when men do it, like Mayweather and McGregor, it's enjoyable to see. And like even Nassim Hamid, you know, he was a cocky little fucker on me, Nas. But you know, when he got beat up by Barrera, I didn't really like it, you know. You know, seeing Nas get fucked up by Barrera, he didn't really get fucked up, did he? But he got fucking done in. And I didn't really like it, even though Nassim Hamid was cocky. So there might be a bit of sexism in it, you know, on my part. I have to really think about it. But then I thought, there are some people, there are some men who are cocky, like Adrian Brown. And you know, when he got fucked up by Maidana, that was really enjoyable to see. You know, that fucking Adrian Brown, he was cocky as well, wasn't he? And I didn't like him. I didn't like his arrogance. So when he got beat up by Maidana, it was quite good to see. And even like that Anderson Silva, you know, when he was acting cocky in the fight and he got fucked up, that was quite good to see, you know, him acting arrogant and then getting fucked up like that. So I don't know if it is a sexist thing, but it could be. I don't know if it is down to sexism, why when women act cocky and they get beat up, I enjoy it. But people like Mayweather, McGregor, Naz, when they do it, it's all good. It's good entertainment and I like them. I don't know. She's like a fucking power shot, Ronda Rousey. Because at least Ronda Rousey, you know, she had a few little fancy judo moves. You know, she did have a bit of talent, you know, in the fucking judo world. I think she had a black belt. You know, she had a few little fancy judo moves under her belt. But you know, this Shannon Courtney here, she's not even all that good. She beat up like four nobodies. I didn't do anything in boxing, but I didn't have the fancy treatment and the fancy build up from Eddie Earn. You know what I mean? So it's like she was getting hyped up for nothing. You know, she was a little fat cunt working in a pub and Coogan wanted a blowjob off her and Eddie earned it. So they started trying to like elevate her, you know, to fucking try and get blowjobs. You know, and she was a fat cunt working in a pub. So they started to give her a lot of hype and a lot of attention and she just got exposed, man, by that fucking ginger woman. You know, and it's the same with that Clarissa Shields, you know, I can't be fucking doing with that irritating, arrogant black woman either. She's annoying as well, isn't she? So, you know, when women act like that, when they act arrogant, it seems to like rub people up the wrong way. 
But you know when men do it, like McGregor and Mayweather, it's, it's a bit more tolerated, isn't it? And accepted. But Mayweather's got haters as well. So has McGregor. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go down the fucking sexist route and start saying it's because they're women. I don't know. But there is a bit of sexism in boxing, definitely. Like, you know, the women boxers, they box for like two minutes, don't they? You know, instead of three minutes like the men. So that's a bit sexist itself. You know, because it's like whoever made the women do two minutes, it's like they're basically saying to the women boxers, yeah, you're not good enough to do three minutes. You know, you're a woman. You know, your body's not strong enough or good enough to do three minutes. So you can only do two minute rounds instead of three minutes because you're a woman and you're not strong enough to do three minutes. You're weak. Your body's not good enough to do three minute rounds or 12 rounders in a world title fight. You can only do 10 rounds and two minutes because you're a woman. So you're weak. You know, that's a bit sexist itself, isn't it? It's, it's basically saying that their bodies aren't good enough to do three minutes and they're weak and pathetic and they can't fucking do three minutes. So you've got to they can do two minutes, you know, because they're weak. You know, because they're fucking women and they're weak. So that's a bit sexist, isn't it? They should do three minutes, man, because a lot of these women fights are better than the men's fights. But I'm glad that Shannon got beat as well, because like that ginger woman who beat her, she's not even a full-time boxer. She's like a, she's a full-time care worker. So she can't fully commit to the training. But you know this Shannon Courtney, she's been getting the fancy build-up and the fancy treatment and she's a full-time boxer. So that gave her the edge and she's still lost. So, And you know Eddie Earn is trying to like get a rematch going on, you know, between that Shannon Courtney and that fucking ginger woman. He's trying to get a rematch on in Eddie Earn. But you know if Shannon Courtney beat that ginger woman, He'd say, nah, there's no need for a rematch. You know, Shannon Conte beat the ginger woman. So we're moving on to bigger and better things. We're aiming for the world title. Yeah. So, you know, Eddie Earn, he's a bit biased, isn't he? And, you know, in the interview afterwards, Eddie Earn, he was like, yeah, Shannon Courtney, she just got caught with a lucky right hand from the gods. You know, talking all that fucking Joshua bullshit when he got fucked up by Ruiz, saying he got caught with a lucky punch from the gods. So that's what Eddie Earn's doing. You know, trying to make out like that ginger woman caught Shannon Conte, you know, with a lucky punch from the gods, you know, trying to make out like it was a fluke. But you know, if Shannon Conte caught that ginger woman with the same punch, Eddie Earn will be saying, yeah, Shannon, she threw a perfectly placed right hand. It was a brilliant punch. You know, he won't be saying it was a lucky punch from the gods. Like that fucking Joshua. So it's just, it's all biased in it. So I love it when these fighters get fucked up. Unless it's somebody that I like personally, you know, like Dillian White or fucking Billy Joe Saunders or who else? Kel Brook, you know, people like that. But you know, when it's people like Anthony Fowler, or fucking Ted Cheeseman. I love it when those guys get fucked up. You know, Eddie Earns little fighters. Because a lot of them aren't even all that. I like this ginger woman. She seems nice and friendly, you know, humble. You know, like that Katie Taylor. I like her as well, you know, a nice little friendly woman. Humble, you know, just quiet. She doesn't really crave attention. She doesn't really crave to be on camera like that Shannon Conte. You know, when Eddie Earn does like a little Instagram live, you'll see Shannon Conte in the comments saying, Eddie, can I join? Eddie, can I get on with you? Can I get on the camera? Can I join your live? You know, she loves the fucking cameras. But you know, when she gets exposed, she wants to run and hide and start sulking, you know? And then when she lost, she was like refusing to do interviews and stuff like that, you know, fucking off the media and the press. But, you know, during the fight week, she was all over the cameras, wasn't she? But then when she got beat, she started fucking sulking, you know, and telling the press to fuck off. 
saying that she doesn't want to interview acting like that. It's no good, is it? She's a cunt, isn't she? Shannon Company. I don't like her at all. You remember the black lesbian? You know, I used to have a go at her, you know, saying she looks a bit like a man. But she was quite nice, not sexually. But I mean, like, personality. She was nice and friendly and humble, you know, always smiling. and You know, she was a nice little friendly black lesbian. So I liked her. Not sexually. Just like as a person, you know, her personality. She was nice and quiet and humble. So I like it when they're like that. But, you know, when they're arrogant. Like that Shannon Company. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I don't like her. I don't like her. I think it's because she blocked me as well, you know, on Instagram. And it's like, why are you blocking me? I didn't follow you anyway. I didn't follow you anyway. I wasn't looking at your photos and commenting and sending you direct messages. Sending you photos of my fucking cock. I didn't follow you anyway. I didn't message you. I didn't comment on your pictures. Why are you fucking blocking me? The reason I know she blocked me is because like loads of people kept tagging me in one of her posts. And I kept trying to see what it was, but I wasn't allowed, you know, because I was blocked. And it's like, why is she blocking me? I'm not sending her photos of my fucking cock in her DMs like Coogan probably does. So what's she blocking me for? So that just made it worse. That made her defeat even more enjoyable for me. I can't be fucking doing with her at all. Kogan fucking loves her, don't he? Yeah, Kogan's having a kid, isn't he? But like I said before, it's inevitable, isn't it? You know, all the women that he's been fucking throughout the years since he got a fancy blue tick. You know, it was only a matter of time, you know, before he got one of them pregnant. So he's having a kid, isn't he, Coogan? And you know, his kid, that kid might look a bit weird, you know. Coogan's kid might look a bit dodgy. You know, if he looks a bit like Coogan, the kid might look a bit dodgy, you know, and it might get beat up in school. You know, for looking a bit dodgy like Coogan. So, you know, when that kid goes to school, Coogan's going to have to really tell the kid to be safe in it, be safe. Because that kid might get fucked up in school, you know, for looking a bit dodgy like Coogan. Yeah, you know Coogan, yeah. He deleted me on Facebook. And then he sent me a friend request. But, you know, before I could accept the friend request, he quickly cancelled the friend request. So he's playing psychological games, isn't he? You know, he's trying to fuck me up mentally, isn't he? You know, playing these little psychological games. He's trying to get to me, isn't he? You know, like when he told me to be safe. Yeah, he's trying to fuck me up mentally, you know, deleting me on Facebook and then sending me a friend request and then quickly cancelling the request. You know, before I've had a chance to accept it. So he's playing these little silly games in Ikuga. You know, it's a bit of fucking snidey, isn't it? Yeah, he managed to worm his way into fight camp, didn't he? He managed to worm his way in. But yeah, this little shit fight camp, you know, it's been alright on it. All of them, they've all been okay so far. So, you know, fucking fish eyes with the big dent in his forehead. He's trying to get in on Eddie Earn's hype. You know, because these fight camps have gone down quite well. So, fucking fish eyes. You know, he's trying to leech off of some of Eddie Earn's hype. You know, making that poster there of his fighters against Eddie Earn's fighters. He's trying to, like, get in on Eddie Earn's hype. You know, because Frank Warren shows a fucking shit. So, you know, fucking fish eyes. He's trying to get in on Eddie Earn's hype. He's trying to get a bit of attention, you know, because he's not doing that well. I remember a few years ago when Frank Warren posted that photo, you know, of him and Barry McGuigan and Frank Maloney and fucking Hatton. You know, Frank Warren posted that photo, you know, trying to act like that's the future of boxing. They're the future of boxing. 
they're going to dominate the world of boxing, but it didn't work out, did it? Fucking Ricky Hatton ended up snorting cocaine. Barry McGuigan started robbing all his fighters, so they all fucked him off. Frank Warren shows a fucking shit, and hardly anyone's tuning in. And fucking Frank Maloney ran off and became a woman. So they all fucked up, didn't they? You know, after that photo. So, you know them trying to act like they're going to dominate the fucking world of boxing. You know, doing that. All hands together, like, they're the fucking Illuminati of boxing. You know, it's embarrassing, isn't it? Eddie Young just came along and just broke up that little shit group. Come on, uh, motherfuckers! And they all fucked up. Come on, uh, motherfuckers! They all went downhill, you know, and Eddie Young just burst on the scene. They all fucked up. Come on, uh, motherfuckers! Frank Maloney turning into a woman. Come on, uh, motherfuckers! So, you know, Frank Warren, he just tries to, like, get in on other people's hype and just puts together little fancy photos like this. Boy, it's just meaningless, isn't it? Shamal motherfuckers. Do you remember when he said that? Shamal motherfuckers! So he's good at creating hype, you know, swearing on Sky Sports Live. Saying Shamal motherfuckers. Shamal motherfuckers! You know, he's quite good in here at hyping things up, but he does talk a lot of shit as well, Eddie. You know? Like, remember when he pretended that his dad had a heart attack? You know, because he was getting slagged off by people, you know, when it got exposed that he was mates with a pedo, Jeffrey Epstein. So then Eddie conveniently said that his dad had a heart attack, you know, pretending, you know, to try and fucking get people to go easy on him and his dad, you know, for being mates with a pedo. So, you know, Eddie he likes to put up like a smoke screen, you know, to take people's minds off things. You know, like when he announced that Tyson Fury and Joshua have agreed terms. You know, because Joshua was getting slagged off about his dodgy speech, you know, at the Black Lives Matter event. So, Eddie Earn, you know, he fucking says things, you know, to try and take people's minds off of other things. So, his fucking dad didn't have a heart attack at all. It's fake news, man, it's fake news. Yeah, Joshua said he's going to put it on Dillian White, didn't he? You know, at his fight with Povetkin. Joshua said he's going to put it on him, but he's not going to put it on him at all. You know, if he didn't put it on me, you know, he's not going to put it on Dillian, is he? You know, and he tried to threaten me. You know, he didn't do anything. So he's not going to do anything to Dillian either. It's fake news, man. But yeah, I've enjoyed these little shit fight camps. Yeah, there's been some decent fights, you know, and I'm glad that Ginger Woman beat Shannon Company. She did well, didn't she, the Ginger Woman? Yeah, Ginger people get slagged off a lot, don't they? You know, people call them ugly, don't they? People call Ginger people ugly. People have a go at them, don't they, Ginger people. You know, saying they look a bit dodgy and they're a bit fucking ugly. But I've been looking on the internet, you know, some nice, sexy ginger women. Yeah, that ginger woman looks quite nice, don't you? She's quite nice, that ginger woman. So you can't just put them all in the same category, can you, and say they're all fucking ugly. You know, there's obviously a big difference there, isn't there, between those two. There's a big, big difference. So not all ginger women are ugly, are they? It's a mixed bag, isn't it? But yeah, this video is getting a bit daft now, isn't it? It's going a bit off track, in it? So I'm going to fuck it off. I'm going to wrap it up, I think. Yeah, that'll do, you know. It's a little shit video today, but thanks for watching anyway, yeah? Thanks for that.